Hey, it's Eric Valentine with Steve Weingart. Um, we're on tour with uh, Steve Lukather in France, and I just wanted to take a moment to uh, us to kind of share with all of our friends out there some of the things that we do while we're on the road. Um, Steve, uh, tell me a little bit about your background, just real quick. Real quick, um, mostly my background is in classical music until I was uh, about a teenager, and I started checking out uh, some other rock music, some fusion music, some jazz music. And I'm kind of self-taught in that area. But uh, I got my uh, technique from playing classical music for a lot of years. Who would you say your biggest influence is uh, as far as the piano or keyboards? Oh, wow. For Well, you know, keyboards, I have like the big three for me are Chick Corea, Joe Zawano, and Herbie Hancock. Okay. And what it, who would you say your biggest musical influence on any instrument? Wow. Nobody's ever actually answered, asked me that question. Uh, biggest influence. I'm going to say Zawano. Joe Zawano. <laughs> that was kind of funny. We're keeping yeah, that. Yeah, we keep okay. That. All right. So we're going to show you a couple of warm ups here um, uh, that Steve does prior to a gig. And when we get our hands on our um, instruments on stage and the, and the crew doesn't get mad at us for making noise, we're going to do this real quick. All right, so uh, what's, what would be the first skill you would uh, you want to show? Okay, uh, uh, I guess like a good warm-up is like doing scales. I like to do scales differently than just going up and down the keyboard because it just makes you think a little bit uh, differently and, and, and warms up your mind and gets you going in that direction. Hello, what he said. <laughs> so what's the first one you're going to show? I'm going to show uh, the grand scale. Okay. It's about going up... Uh, going up the keyboard in two octaves and then moving your hands away from each other two octaves back together two octaves and then back down the okay. keyboard all right here it's we easier go. seen than than described all right hey hello this is real folks with you know so you might hear a little uh french uh, in the background but it's all good here we go okay can so, you uh, see i can't i can't see is that, is that a good uh, view that's a good look i don't know let's see can you see everything i think so Okay, here we go. All right. So uh, uh, I like to practice instead of two oct uh, one octave. I like to practice in two octaves because you can hear the, the tone so much better. Mm -hmm. So uh, the scale, I'll do it in slow motion. That's two octaves. And then a part two octaves. Together. Down. Put it all together. Let me move it this way. When you put it all together, it goes like this. There it is. Okay. The grand scale. How would you play that if you, if I wasn't recording you? How fast would it be? Oh, I don't know. To that. He's a modest guy, so I had kind of pull that out of him. Hello? Okay, so the next scale. Uh, okay, the next exercise would be, uh, I like to do this thing where we compress force into one octave. So you're basically taking a whole cycle and putting that into one octave. So whenever you go above this boundary, you take the note that's above and drop it down an octave. So for a quick example, this would be out of bounds. So you take it down an octave. Up a four, that goes out of bounds. So you take it down an octave. Up a four, up a four. The next fourth would be here, out of bounds. Take it down an octave. The next fourth would be there, out of bounds. Take it down an octave. And you end back up at the uh, starting point. Okay. So slowly, that sounds like this. done is taken that series of notes that series the cycle of force and made a, a, a an exercise out of it that starts off and follows a whole tone scale so it sounds like this Okay. 
that's ascending. Now you can you can uh, flip that upside down and go uh, descend. So that sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so let me hear it up to speed. The whole thing? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I supposed to go two octaves. I sometimes go further than that. I'm not exactly warmed up right now, so I'm not doing it as fast as I would if I was together. So that might be more like this. Wow. It's a little rough, but that's the idea. Okay, see you in a year. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> okay, see you in a year. See ya. <laughs>